We're gonna get scanned. Okay. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my phone, and we're gonna open the PhotoMine app. What I'm gonna do is I have all these nice photos here. I'm gonna just scan this one right here to start. Okay. I have to tap the button for three seconds and then it just does its magic, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but you don't have to scan them one by one. So here we have these three photos. The app, you know, automatically crops and identifies each image, so you don't have to. I nice. mean, one, two, three, just like that. It's like... Nice. And it improves the color just like that, too. It's amazing. Yeah, it auto enhances <laughs> it also. It's very important to note, though, as you're going about scanning, it depends really what the goals of your of your project are. So let's say you really want quality. You want to possibly be able to print these photos later. We recommend one at a time, right? Okay. If you scan one photo, it's gonna be the absolute highest quality. Okay. If you scan multiple photos, imagine the quality of your camera gets divided by the amount of images that you take. True. However, some people like having multiple photos uh, and just wanna get through it quickly, so they don't care about the, the highest of quality because the quality will still be good as long as it's in your phone. Uh, sometimes you wanna like keep the shape of the album, right? Exactly. And you want like the whole page to stay as one page with a bunch of photos. Exactly, so now as you can see in the app right here, right? Yeah. We have all these different camera options. Mm -hmm. We have negatives and slides, which we'll show you in a minute. Uh, we have photos, as we saw already. We have this mode that's called scrapbook. Okay. And with this camera, unlike with photos where it crops each individual image, it actually allows you to take the scan, and the app again will enhance the photos, but it won't crop the edges. Okay. Some so, albums are like pretty as they are, and you want to save them like a yearbook exactly. or a scrapbook or anything. Are you a scrapbooker? I'm definitely a scrapbooker. <laughs> Okay, yeah, and what about all of these? We can scan these too, right, through the app? Of course we can. <laughs> of course we can. We wouldn't have them out here if you couldn't, <laughs> right? So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to head over to negative mode so we can scan. But you want to try it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, as we mentioned before, you have to make sure you have a backlight of some sort while scanning yeah. slides and negatives, right? And it's really cool because it's the app actually develops it like, you know, like an old camera shop would. Okay. You can't really tell what the... Oh, wow, you can actually see their faces now. Yeah. And then the so app cool. knows how to like do the colors right to make it look like an actual picture. That's amazing. It's amazing. It's so cool. And it's amazing that you can change between modes within the same album. Exactly. So, right? Like we can just literally go from slides to negatives and yeah. move, move right over the negatives and scan that. That's, right. But you know, actually one thing we didn't talk about is that you can actually do text as well. Right. So, so you know, you have recipes or letters from your grandparents or something, you can yeah. scan them. And the last one, the last option we have is actually kids' art. And I don't have any kids, so I have no kids' <laughs> art to scan. But it's awesome yeah. that if my mom wanted to, that she could take all the things that she's saved for some reason for Yeah, instead of so having like a drawer full of them, she can just have them exactly. all on her phone. Her parents can take them off the fridge finally, that they've been dying to throw them away for <laughs> years. And they can you know, still hold on to them and still be like, isn't this cute, this dragon yeah. that you made when you were seven.